Hello, and welcome back to Warhammer 2. Just a brief little update here. Um, the north is going. That's basically all I can say. Uh, we've encountered Nagarond. I went ahead and took a uh, non-aggression pact with them because, you know, chaos, all that jazz. Uh, Nagarond, despite hating everything in the world, is anti-chaos, so they will potentially be a useful ally, but they're over here, so probably not. Uh, they do hate... Words, but they will change nothing. Like his voice actor. Uh, they do hate these these people whose name I've forgotten. Um, I can't remember who starts over here. I think it might actually be the Lizardmen that pushed up, but they hate someone over here. They are at war with the Lizardmen. Uh, they have no agreement or anything with uh, Cults of Pleasure. They like them. I mean, they start with like a plus 40 or plus 30 or something, so kind of hard not to. Uh, but that's pretty much all that's over here. It's Nagarond, the Lizard People, I think, and then Clan Septic is down here, which they have a trade agreement with. I'm pretty sure that's all that's down here, actually, is Clan Septic. But I could be mistaken. Um... Cult of Pleasure seems to probably own all of this. Someone owns that, I don't know who. But that's one of the gates over there, in the Vortex land. Um, but more importantly, uh, we have failed to deal with the chaos issue fast enough. And because of this, there it is, the Doom Tide has returned. I mean, it'll return anyway, but... Uh, the Doomtide returns yet again, so there are uh, once more 12 armies, 12 stacks of Chaos units that showed up. Uh, they should be approximately the same strength as the previous armies, they shouldn't have changed much. Uh, but the downside, uh, this colony is once again gone, and I think I might just abandon it to the dwarves, let them have it, and just hold this uh, mountain range. I'm going to mo try, at least, to move this army back here so that it can once again defend one of these, Eye of the Panther or this one. I prefer to defend Vulture Mountain, but uh, just simply because it'll be a much easier defend location. But I have given a war target for the dwarves of the Chaos units down here, so hopefully they will move armies down this way. Uh, I did raise this place. You have to wait a turn and then raise it again. Um, and it did count for the quest. However, the lizard men march, so they'll probably end up taking that, which is okay. I mean, it sucks that we're not going to be able to complete that quest, but it's it's okay. Apart from that, uh, Tilia is weak. You come bearing arms. Is it war? It, it is war. You're the one who freaking. You're declared on me. Anyway. Um, he's weak. He has nothing. I'm going to take these two armies and probably just start steamrolling the territory he, territory he owns. Uh, so that I can take that stuff. But yeah, that's basically it. Empire's doing good work up here, but they're about to get smashed from over here. So that's going to put a huge damper on our progress in the north, unfortunately. My armies are over here getting ready to cross. Your demise is certain. These armies aren't particularly strong. So many chaos trolls, though. But they have poor leadership and can be broken, so. Uh, so but once we get rid of uh, this army, that settlement, and hopefully this army, that will decrease scaling strength quite a lot. But it doesn't really matter when chaos rises again, so. Yay. Probably gonna get uh, pretty heavily smashed up here in the north, so we'll have to figure something out. Two turns for this army. Uh, I'm probably gonna build another army, and that's gonna put a, push us pretty low on our income, so I gotta be careful about that, but... And yeah, just wanted to update on what's going on here, because turns take about 16 million years. I could fast forward, make the turns go faster, but... At this point in the game, it's pretty important to see what's going on. Plus I have the faster camera mod, so it's not too bad. 
if you were running base game, this with the base camera at the end turn, these turns would probably take maybe 10 minutes or more to complete if you didn't fast forward, so that's pretty crazy. But anyway, hopefully, yeah, he is moving his armies to the south. So hopefully he can help deal with that. He is not at war with Tilia. I think I'm the only person at war with Tilia, so I don't know why he has an army over there. But regardless, I'll see you guys when the next interesting thing happens. Which will probably be a fight of some description. I have noticed in the process of playing this game that it is killing my computer. I don't know why. Even just sitting here idle, staring at this, absolutely nothing happening. The, one of the fans in my computer is at full speed all the time. I think it's the graphics card, I'm not sure. Uh, but my computer is not terribly happy about playing this game at this point. But anyway. Uh, we're going to do the fight with Tilia, but before then we're going to update the chaos people down here have been utterly destroyed by my dwarven comrades. Which don't even have that good of armies, but they completely decimated them down here. You can see the little uh, thingy. Only 1100 casualties, but all four of those armies were killed in I think a single fight, so that was a thing. Um, this this grouping over here, I was gonna say this stack, but I guess it is a stack. This chaos stack over here, kind of basically just hanging out. I feel like they're probably gonna destroy this dude, which will be okay because it means this guy, who is actually allied to me, um, will control all this territory. I haven't retaken this. Uh, I think the dwarves are gonna retake it. I frankly don't really care uh, who takes it at this point, so. As long as I keep this place, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, but I've moved this army up here because this is Fear Incarnate, so he's just kind of idling there. Once this is dealt with, we're going to take this army and these two armies over here somewhere. There they are. And we're going to move them across the ocean to somewhere over here. Uh, probably the Lizardmen, even though that carries some risks because we're allied with Lizardmen over here. Last defenders and this guy down here. Um, but the lizard men are the only people over here that Nagaron uh, hates. And I want to make them at least relatively happy with us. They have a horrible aversion. The great power is cancelled by our tech, but that aversion minus 40 is pretty hard to overcome. But if I can somehow get an alliance with Nagaron, that makes my objective list quite a lot easier. Uh, these should all be right there, up in the north, so we'll have those at some point here. Um, where's this at? Oh, it's the place I'm sieging. But places like uh, Itza, Hexodal, Nagaron, uh, Lothurn, we could probably all work those out via alliances if I can get Nagaron on my side. Nagaron does not own uh, Lothurn. I think the Cult of Pleasure owns that. Cult, Cult of Lust. I've forgotten the name of it again. I think it is Cult of Pleasure. Anyway, that place, I think they own Lothurn. Um, they probably don't like me much either. Yeah, they have the same aversion, great power penalty. You get, like, almost no bonus for doing anything against Chaos. It's actually rather annoying. Still can't talk to them, because apparently we don't know they exist. But anyway, we allied with uh, Bretonia over here. They do have some issues with uh, these people, but, you know, that should sort itself out. Now that I'm allied with them, a lot more people should start liking them, because they're allied with me, and that's basically how this works. Um, the dwarves up here are trying their best. They're having a wee bit of a pickle up here, but they're trying their best. Uh, I've got my armies moving up. The Chaos armies are moving out. They're kind of destroying empire things over here. I don't know where the empire army went. There it is. Uh, there's not much of it left, though. So, that army's really no good. There's an army here, however. Full stack looks pretty good, has a magic chariot, 
with 1,208 missile damage. What? Anyway, um, it's a pretty good army here. Lots of great swords, lots of special units, uh, which is an empire thing. They really need a lot of special units and cavalry. That's basically all they got. And an army here. Again, pretty good army. Uh, it's got a steam tank. Steam tanks are neat. It also has that chariot. Uh, so there's multiple good armies moving north. This is kind of a garbage army, but it'll work. So hopefully we can maybe do something about the chaos units up here, because we need to clear that out quickly. But we are going to move across the ocean here and start working on this area with uh, my southern dwarves. We didn't actually lose this colony, now that I realize that. We can try to do something with that now. Um, but anyway, yeah, good update. Let's go ahead and uh, do this siege fight. It'll be an easy siege, as you can see. Um, his units are pretty weak. The only thing we really need to worry about is the fact that he has about 8 trillion mortars. So, that's a thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to do the, basically the same thing we always do, where we just siege them, because we're dwarves. And that's how sieges work with dwarves. Although we're probably going to climb the walls much earlier than I normally do, because logically that's what I should be doing, so, you know, let's do it. All right, here we are in the fight. I forgot to uh, actually start the fight, but don't worry too much about that because you're not missing anything anyway. We're going to uh, take these dudes out, actually. So minus you. Most of the throng. Missile front. Same setup as always, basically. Uh, we do have a siege equipment. I don't... I hate it slides that. So we'll send that towards the gate. Reinforcements over here, our artillery is going to sit in the back and do their thing. Hopefully they're far enough away that not too much of an issue. But anyway, uh, I hate that I put him in his own group, but that's my own fault. So we're going to park our dudes right about there. Those are slayers. They're very loose formation. Basically cavalry. You guys immediately attack that gate. Um, and you guys are going to move forward with them just outside of the range of that stuff. What is this? Well, that's my attack line. I was moderately confused there, but that's okay. Like, let's go ahead and park ourselves like right there-ish. Just outside their attack line. We'll fiddle with them in a second here. Go ahead and do normal speed. These guys should begin firing as soon as they can. Reinforcements have arrived, to be expected. These guys will take a bit to fire because uh, stuff going through them makes them a little unhappy. There we go. Look at the organ gun shot come in. This is why I like organ guns. They do have a terrible firing arc, but they do tend to kill things quite effectively. So, so This isn't quite all of my dudes yet. So this should be all of my dudes except for artillery. Let's go ahead and grab these guys except for the choppers. The gyro bombers. And we'll do the same thing. We'll set them to missile front. And we'll do the same exact thing and... Oh right, I have to unpause it for them to sort their crap out. I always forget about that. Do the same thing. We set them up just outside of attack range. Something like that. Good enough. Gyro bombers can come over here, hang out for a second. And the only thing left should be artillery coming in. Which it'll take them a little bit of gear. I think there's three pieces that have to show up. I don't see the third even trying to show up, which is bothering me, but I'm pretty sure there's three. Oh, there it is. Bit late to the party, but it'll show up eventually. Uh, we are going to be getting hit by the wall can no wall thingamadings, wall towers, that's what they are, unfortunately, but... You guys should... actually, no, you're not in range. Forgot these dudes have about 8 trillion range compared to, like, every other ranged unit in the game, so we have to actually be within range of them to fire, which is bothersome, but... 
That is a-okay, you guys. Come over here. Same with this third one when it shows up. There we go. We'll park him on this side. Should be okay. So we are going to start getting shot at a lot. Like a rather large amount. We're going to take all of you guys, minus the siege dudes. And minus you, because you shouldn't be selected anyway. We're going to tell them to get on the walls. That's going to spread them way out, but they do also need to be on the walls anyway, so. Just have them charge. You guys will do your best. My range units will begin firing hopefully soon. I can send these guys in, actually. We're going to go for a rather curious bombing run if we can get away with it here. Pretty dangerous to do this because that is a lot of ranged units on these walls. But we're basically just going to fly over top of most of their units here if we can. Do you think we're getting shot at? Yeah, we are. There we go. That's basically what I was hoping to get done with that. Look for bombers. Slightly out of the way here. Excuse me, the enemy gates are destroyed. You guys didn't even get there. Uh, drop your stuff. What destroyed the gates? I don't know. Drop your stuff. Try to get on the walls. Um... My other units are here, you guys aren't even in position, that sounds about right. Back our bombers all the way up. Our ladders have docked on the walls. This is what a proper siege looks like. We are getting shot at with mortars, which is dangerous. Mortars are scary, but we should be okay. All of you guys, uh, I don't think I need to tell them to ladder up the walls. I think we're just going to move them up because the walls should or the ladder should be going up well enough that we can just sort of. Tell them to get over here. I want to try to tell them to get on the wall, but they don't seem to be willing to do that, so. We'll just move them over and sort it out eventually. Look at all this stuff flying in here. Is there something I have? It's you. You can't go on the walls. That's why. There we go. Oh, they're actually gonna go in. I didn't anticipate that. Actually, hold on. You guys sort yourselves out real quick to like some sort of melee front formation. It doesn't really matter what. You guys will be okay. All of you make your way in a this weird direction. Same with you guys. There's a range unit. Oh, it's probably Iron Breakers in there or something. Yeah. You guys should be moving, you're fighting, you're all up in here. There's Slayers in there, that's Hammer Infantry. That dude just got crushed. Right. And then my own artillery just sweeping through here. You know what? Let's go ahead and charge. You guys need to get in there somehow. Where are all my leaders at? Apparently we're going full tilt. It's you. There you are. Push up toughness. Nah, do rally. Do sort of anti-heroes too. Why not? I don't even know what's happening most of the time. There's just... 
there's shots coming in literally continuously. Look at this crap. If you saw this happening at your walls, I think you would know this is the end of all of your lives. We are still getting pelted with um, mortars from the back here. They can do this because they have such short range that they have a really high firing arc, as you can see. Very inaccurate though, as you can also see. Work my range units there. Trying to get their leaders killed. What we're also going to do is take all of my ranged units, put them in a random group. Four is good enough. Plop them down on the walls. Roughly. They'll figure it out. Figure out where to go on their own. I don't think these hammerers will be able to... He is a melee specialist, so I don't think they'll be able to kill him. Your hidden units are revealed. Especially with my own... Especially with my own units firing on them. That's probably not helping. Trying to remotely keep this organized, but we're really just a mass, and this isn't really how you should ever have your units organized, but that's okay. So these guys should basically be permanently shattered over here, because there's just too many units in this area. So that guy shattered, this guy... Well, that's my dude over here, okay. That's fine. I wonder if there's anywhere I could put these guys that they would actually be able to do anything. I mean, over here would be pretty good. We'll organize them slightly better. I, I doubt they can even get over there be like before it's valid. What are you guys doing? Why do I have some long beards here? Where are you going? On the walls, I think, curiously enough. It's not where they're supposed to be. But that's okay. I want to get some sort of a front line going here, but this is uh, proving to be a little bit messy, to say the least. No, we won. Man. We didn't even get into position fully. But this is why you want your ranged units on their walls, because you can, once you get them up there, it's just death. Gives you a nice secure location to set up some fronts. One of your units has used all its ammunition. I know. But you can see just how much damage they're capable of doing from up there. Which is pretty good. Anyway, they're all gonna flee, it doesn't matter, they're dead anyway because this is a siege battle, so all of their units are dead. We lost basically nothing. It's pretty much par for the course. Even if I didn't do that fight, I don't think we would have lost anything because it was so much in our favor. This is the joys of late game dwarven units and siege equipment. I should make an army with um, flame cannons and stuff, just for giggles. I don't really use flame cannons because their range is so short, but they do a lot of damage, so I'll give them that much at least. Give them credit where credit is due. Hell yeah, look at this trade agreement. Fuck yeah. Be happy. Look at this. Look at these icons. Everybody loves me. Anyway, I just wanted to put, look at the trade agreement. It's a great trade agreement. I just want to go ahead and give an update on what's going off here. Um... We've allied with this guy, but I don't think he's going to be alive for very long. Uh, this army should be capable of taking that. Then there's these dudes down here, which are at war with them. 
Is that the people I like allied with at some point? I don't know. I certainly don't seem to like them. Good God. Oh, I at some point did have a non-aggression pact with them. Do I still have one actually? Hold on. I do. I'm gonna break it. Should I break it? I have a trade agreement with them? Hold on, what? Oh no, I don't. I'm an idiot. Just ignore me. Anyway, um, there's a lot of armies down here. There's dwarven ar- there's one, two, three, four, five dwarven armies over here, I think. That's direct vicinity. And then we have, uh, Carrick, whoever this is. I forgot their name. They have a few smaller armies. Four armies right there, plus one over here. I've got two armies there, an army there. Um, chaos exists. Two armies up here. We're, we are attacking Tilia, taking stuff over. It's easy fights, but uh, building an army there. This place is still not fully up. It takes a while for that to grow. There is a Chaos army up here. No idea where it came from. Apparently they're at war with them, despite them being Chaos, but whatever. Um, but there is an army up here, which is bad because there's no other armies up here. Um, everyone else's armies are moved. Either here, in this guy's case, because he is at war with the Wood Elves, or in everyone else, literally everyone else's case, up north. So I'll go ahead and show you what's going on up north. Uh, the dwarves, the dwarven armies that made their way up here and took some stuff, they're falling. Uh, I didn't expect them to hold that. In fact, I never told them to take that. They just kind of went up there. Um, but otherwise, there's that army there. This army over here. There's the scaling army. There's a, several scaling armies around. There's another one right there. Two of my armies here. But then we have this going off over here. So there's a full stack, there's a full stack, there's another one, two smaller stacks, another full stack, another one of my full stacks, and there's chaos units up here. So uh, hopefully the dwarves are all right. They appear to have taken another province actually. Now I'm not allied with him, we're just the defensive allies, not military allies. So I don't know where his armies are or how he's doing. Um, I just know he's up there still, surprisingly still alive, considering he's surrounded with people that he's basically permanently at war with. I'm surprised he can survive, but you know, details. But I just wanted to update, there's a lot of armies up here. I mean, I did tell the AI to focus up here. I told the dwarves to focus on the south, so hopefully they can keep me covered, but um, everyone else otherwise i kind of told to go up here so there's a lot of military action going on up in the north which is good because we need to pacify this if we can pacify this area get rid of all the chaos the only places we have to worry about are right here tiny little choke point because this is where they come from the chaos wastes for some reason there's a tower right there I don't really know why. You permanently suffer attrition in the Chaos Waste, by the way, unless you are a Chaos Spawn. Um, that's just how that works. But Chaos Waste is where they come from. There's literally nothing up here. There's no provinces to take or anything. It is the Wasteland. So, but that's where they spawn. They will also spawn down here, apparently. Right here. They don't seem to ever change. And right about here. Uh, I don't know where this dude came from, though. He may have just been on a boat floating around for a while, I'm not sure. No, or, alternatively, there could be another spawn somewhere over here, perhaps. But you would think we would see uh, stuff being destroyed over here, and we're not, so I'm not sure about that. Could also just spawn in the waters up here and slowly make their way down or something. I'm not 100% certain, but regardless, if we can pacify this, we're in a pretty good spot, and... We should be able to begin doing that pretty soon, because there's a lot of armies up here. Once I get rid of these scaling armies, I'm pretty sure we're set at that point. Because that's really the only thing holding us back, is this faction is apparently capable capable of creating a lot of units. I'm not going to own any of this territory, by the way. I'm not going to bother. It's all uninhabitable. I want nothing to do with it. I'll let the AI deal with it. But anyway, just wanted to do a quick update there. Otherwise, not really a whole lot going on. We're killing Tilia, slowly marching this way, raising things as we go, let the AI take it, that sort of thing. 
Well, here we are on the battlefield. Probably not where you guys expected to see me again. Clouds don't look too happy. There's thunder in the background. Or lightning. Yeah, there it goes. It's a really weird effect they use for that, but it's fair enough. I mean, you're not really going to see that. You'll just see the flashes. But anyway, uh, we have been ambushed. Well, not ambushed, but uh, we're being attacked with one of our armies, the one, in the one of the ones in the north, by two chaos groups. So, we have to somehow defend ourselves. Optimally, we would have the high ground. However, we can't really deploy very effectively quickly on the high ground over there. So I think what's going to end up happening is we're just going to have to stay over here. Uh, this minimizes terrain issues. If we go over here, park up over here, we have an issue with this hill covering pretty much that entire flank. If we sit over here, it's not too bad. It's not great either. Probably end up using this actually for our stuff. So we'll park over here. Uh, we're going to grab everything except for, we're also going to turn off skirmish before I forget, except for the choppers. And we'll do a standard missile front for now. But once the fight starts, we're going to adjust this slightly. Uh, and again, for now, we're going to go ahead and deploy these guys right here. And the choppers don't matter. Uh, we'll fix them later anyway. Let's go ahead and start. We're going to instantly pause. And we're going to take these units. And we're going to shift them to the side. I know this makes very little sense. And then we're going to take these two and unpause it so I can see where they're going. I can't really see where they're going, actually. It's here. We're going to spread them way thin. Actually, we should really have the whole front line pretty thin here. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to be spread really, really, really thin, but there's a reason I'm doing this, which may or may not make any sense to you right now. Oh, I hate doing this side, though, because I can't just drag from the center. It's probably good enough. We'll see how that looks in a second. I know it looks very strange right now. Don't worry about that. And you guys... We're going to park right there. You guys are going to park right there. Not quite that far forward, actually. Slightly further back. That should be okay. You guys are going to be a bit forward for now. And you're actually going to be a bit back for now. There we go. Slightly adjust our dudes. This should work okay. And yes, I realize very, very thin lines can be easily charged through by large units, but that's okay. There's a small reason I'm doing this that doesn't really necessarily make any sense right now, but don't worry about it. Please get out of the cannons so they may shoot their guns. Lord of anyway, took their sweet time about that. So these guys should have a firing angle of some description here through the center. What are these guys doing is the real question. Do they have any ranged units? I forgot to check. They should, right? Do they actually not, though? There's their Missile Cavalry. Okay, so this group has Missile Cavalry, the other one doesn't. Fair enough. If I had realized that earlier, I would have sent the Gyro Bombers over there to do something. Uh, it looks like... They may actually be going that way. This is going to look real janky for a brief period, but don't mind that. 
I put them all in a group so I could group lock their formation so I could shift them a little bit here. Basically just rotating them a little bit to get the cannons a better angle. In the theory. Hopefully this guy's not in the way of the cannons. He shouldn't be. Yeah, they're fine. He just won't have eardrums when they fire, but that's okay. Unfortunately, we can't shoot at him yet, which makes me a little sad, but... That's all right. I really don't like really long front lines, but don't worry about that. We wait. Where are my iron breakers, actually? There's one right there. Go ahead and highlight all of them. So we have an iron breaker group on all, all of these groups over here. That's good. What are you casting on me? I don't know, but could you not cast it on me? Now what are you doing? You've shifted your front line slightly that way, but we're still mostly pointed at it, so that's okay. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, he's uh, clearly reforming. Like the way they flap in the wind, it looks kind of weird. Like they pulsate. That's kind of freaky looking, actually. Just see pulsating red flaps in your general direction. Here they go. They are marching towards us. So soon our artillery pieces should be capable of firing on them. Their artillery is capable of firing on me because hell cannons. It should continue moving forward though. He just has to wait for the hell cannons to get into position before he moves, right? Or is he just going to artillery me to death? You know what I miss? Uh, oh god, that's not where that should be. I miss, um... Being able, like, the, the Shogun 2 commands for groups were had, like, March forward. I think other games had this too, but it had, like, March forward, uh so many spaces or rotate so much or whatever for groups and stuff that was neat i wish they'd bring that back so that i could just tell this group to adjust forward slightly and then rotate instead of having to drag it like that because that's really annoying so he is he did shift right he did but he didn't move towards me this is is he really just going to let the artillery fire at me? That's a very non-AI... ...strategy for this. I... I can't. I don't know what's going on over here with this formation, but... Shift him forward again, I guess. We can't just sit here and get shot by hell cannons. That's not going to end well for us. But they're attacking, and I really don't want to charge them. We're still just outside of range. Somehow. We're always just outside of range. Are they actually moving backwards? Almost got my, uh... Rangers into range here. Curious phrasing there, but whatever. All right, can you guys fire now? You're still getting shot to crap. In fact, one of them is dead now. Oh, hey, we shot. Didn't really do much, though. But we are firing. I'm actually going to set them back to skirmish real quick. Looks like they're moving towards me finally. They are! Took their sweet time, but they are indeed moving towards me again. And that entire... Yeah, that entire unit has completely shattered already. Not particularly good, I'm actually turning the skirmish on. Warriors are rallying. Doesn't actually matter. Basically, our plan here is to fire a lot of arrows into them. Be 
before retreating to the back here, which we're about to do. If you're curious, this is why I split my or spread my units out. Move our units back because they're getting a bit close. They do have cavalry, so I do have to be wary of that. The cavalry is going off to the side, but they still exist. So now that his cavalry, which is his only missile unit, unless that counts as a missile unit, I'm not sure actually. Now that his cavalry has left, we're actually going to move our bombers up and start doing some bombing runs. We're also going to fill this hole real quick. Doesn't actually matter what these guys do with their free time. They're just going to hang out over here. Hell cannons, as you can see, very, very bad. It's unfortunate that they have two of them, but they do, so... Drop some bombs here, because there's stuff over here. Basically, just going to fly through their units for a little bit real quick here and drop some stuff. Do as, as good, efficient damage as we can. Let's move back over this way and bomb some of these guys. Ironbreakers do have those special ranged units. This is the worry with thin lines like that, but don't worry. We're fine. What are these guys again? Chaos Warriors? Pretty weak chaos units. I mean, they're chaos units still, but... From a chaos unit standpoint, they're fairly weak units. On these two units over here a little bit. And then we're going to go all the way over there, drop the rest of our bombs probably on their ranged units, but... You guys still holding your siege equipment? You are, surprisingly. Although, how long that will hold out, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to go with probably not very long. Did you just fire... oh my god. They just fired point blank into that dude's head. He died, as you can very well imagine. So the front line is going to get crushed. I fully expect that. I'm worried about the cavalry, though. I'm also worried about the fucking doom cannons. Welcome to life with doom cannons on the enemy team. Go ahead and split these guys up. Even if we win this fight, which is entirely possible that we will not, even if we win this fight, it's going to be very, very messy. And because of this cavalry split, that they have, and the dwarves having really no real way to deal with cavalry, we're gonna have a wee bit of an issue here on our flanks, because we have to have so many units away from the front. Anyway, you two guys get ready to drop bombs. Probably just the rest of their bombs on these hell cannons to try and get them killed as quickly as possible. Hell cannons, again, are unbreakable units, so... The only way to get rid of them is by killing them. So we're just going to park them over there and they can shoot into that. I can't... That's the exact problem I was worried about here. I can't really take these units off of the flanks here too much because then we run into the issue of cavalry running into our back line, which we need our back line to be alive right now. You guys actually got your cannons out, your organ guns. That's surprising. Anyway, this unit's dead. They are Iron Breakers, so they'll try their hardest, but they're gonna die at some point, as you can tell by the masses. You guys are throwing your stuff into there, that's good. You guys are getting flanked. That's not particularly good, as one could imagine, I suspect. Nope, oh, there's the chariot. I don't really know where it's going or why it's missing most of its health already, but there it goes. These guys should be shooting. Not very effectively, but... You know, they're shooting, I guess. 
It looks like maybe every volley they fire might kill one of the units on these things. Which is not particularly rapid. Hello. Who are you? An exalted hero? What are you doing over here? Anyway, not looking particularly good. You guys... Really ought to be somewhere else, probably. Let's move them back there, actually. It seems like a strange place to put them. Actually, no. Park your butts over there. Figure your crap out. I wish you guys could throw your bombs at stuff, but they're too close to throw their bombs at stuff. The chariot's gonna come over here, ram into my dudes. Not particularly good. As demonstrated. I think it'll do quite a lot of damage. The exalted heroes being back there is not good. The cavalry being over here is not particularly good either, as one could imagine, I suspect. My organ guns are firing at what I don't have the faintest idea. The warriors flee. Probably as I threw bombs at my own dudes, but... Such is the cost, I suppose. These dudes are decent melee fighters, so they won't hold their own against cavalry, but... They are still decent melee fighters, so these guys are basically out of ammo, so... We're gonna get them over here. Help these hammer... Or, oh, those are hammers, yeah. Help these guys out a little bit. The Bugman's raiders that are being destroyed back here. Look at the nonsense. Look at it. My leader is dying. He's a rune lord, to be fair. This is to be expected, I guess. But we've lost this fight, I'm pretty sure. Which is not particularly good. Not particularly good at all. We have killed their hell cannons, but... Victory that does not make. We're just gonna go ahead and quad speed it. It doesn't matter. I don't think at this point We need a better way to deal with Can you just flee? I mean you can get charged I guess You guys are out of ammo Where's the flea button? Oh yeah, I can't flee because I've already tried to flee. So this army is actually dead. I forgot it had already tried to flee before. It was a valiant defeat. I probably could have done that better. Probably should have had my uh, gyrocopters way in the back lines a lot faster to deal with those hell cannons, but... Probably should have also responded to the fact that they had stopped to fire their hell cannons at me a lot sooner, but I didn't realize that the AI was actually capable of making that decision. Turns out they are. So now we know, I suppose. I was running off of all uh, old assumptions that one unit organ guns did nothing. Oh, it got killed early, that's right. Um, I was running off old assumptions about the AI uh, with time limits on offensive. Uh, battles where in older games they probably still do this to some degree I would imagine but uh, in older games if you were defending and there was a time limit the AI would just rush its army at you basically they would stay in some formation but they would move towards you they wouldn't form up like that and then sit there and let their artillery shoot at you they would just move at you the entire time because there's a time limit, the AI is programmed to do that. If there wasn't a time limit in the old games, um, the AI would actually treat it as a defensive battle. Even if they attack you, if there was no time limit, the AI would park their army in a defensive formation and just wait forever. Which is why I always play with battle time limits on, because I don't want the AI to attack me and then just defend itself, because that defending is an advantage. You can form up a lot better 
If if they didn't have all those cavalry units, we could have probably done that fight a lot easier, but they did, so unfortunately we had to spread our line. The reason I had it spread so thin like that was so that we could cover a lot of ground for the cavalry to try and keep them from being able to flank us too easily, uh, but also so the hell cannons didn't kill like 40 people every time they fired. That did weaken our front line, but I don't think it really mattered that much. Maybe it did, who knows. We were horribly outnumbered, so who knows, probably could have done it better. Let's be honest here. Well, that saves me the hassle of having to fight that, actually, so maybe we can cross the water. Who knows? Anyway. See you. Oh, God. See you guys when something happens. Now we have to rebuild another army. Hooray, he says. 